scratch another task off our list while we're here, if we are so inclined. Efficiency is not the only factor worthy of consideration. Well met. You are come. You will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to the foremost hospitality. In all Vernworth. Much obliged. Follow me. Having more of these to hand ought to serve us well in battle. Let us take care when and how we put them to use. What should I do? Gather round, gather round. Treat your ears to a tale by a master storyteller. What did you think of that story? Twas well told and all, but not particularly exciting, eh? I mean, it's the sort of thing you hear bandied about the tavern every other night, isn't it? I'd heard tell of a beggar doing well for himself, so I came out here to learn his ways. Haven't learned much, that's for sure. And by the look of it, he doesn't appear to be making much for his efforts, neither. So where's all his coin coming from, then? Makes a man wonder it does. Mayhap this ladder is here for a reason. Ah, oh, excellent find. Well, take a look while you're here, eh? Might as well take a look while you're here, eh? Stop by again soon. I do so enjoy stocking up on supplies. Spending gold to make gold, it, is that not a contradiction? I quite agree. Fancy a look at my Might as well take a look while you're here, eh? It's been a hard day. I heard a rumour that this land was once a kingdom of Beastrons. Truly? Quite, though no definitive records remain. Gather round, gather round, treat your ears to a tale by a master storyteller. This really is... And should my tale entertain you? Hey. I've all manner of arms for sale. Come, have yourself a look.
Apologies, sir, but we've not got any archer staves or great swords in stock at the moment. Goods aren't flowing as freely as they used to, see? Seems monsters have gotten a taste for our ox carts, because attacks are on the rise. Strangely enough, tis the arms shipments that are being targeted the most. I just hope this doesn't mean the beasts are gaining in intellect. So far, no one's done a thing about it. And if this keeps on, my business is doomed. I hesitate to ask, but what of you, sir? Should you take interest in aiding my plight, pray speak to the guild head, Klaus. Gather round, gather round. Treat your ears to a tale by a master storyteller. And should my tale entertain you? Nay, even if it shouldn't, I would greatly appreciate a coin or two to soothe my throat with a mug of ale. Now, listen close, as today I shall speak of riddles and monsters with frightful mystique. In the north of Vermont is our... This might be worth a read. Let's have a look then. He delved into a temple of baleful feature, only to be confronted by a four-legged creature. But when our hero drew his blade, unto him a demand was made. And who the asker? Why, the beast! An uncanny affair, to say the least. Yet there was no time for shock and dismay, as answer my riddle, did the fearsome thing say. The trickery was clear. To respond meant certain doom. But in the midst of his answer, he'd doubtless be consumed. So a mighty attack did our hero dispense to conquer his foe and banish it thence. With a single strike was the towering beast repelled to quail in fear at the mortal strength it beheld. Such is the legacy of Lord Rosamond, who, needless to say, was the father of House Berkeley, which lives on to this day. Gather round, gather round, treat your... Hi, got some coin to spare your humble... Much appreciated. Gather round, gather round, treat your ears to a tale by a master storyteller. Ho there, faring all right? Ox carts make for relatively safer travel. One hopes these carts offer comfort commend. As I recall, we have another matter to attend to in this domain. Shall we head there now? It would save us having to make the trip again. Greetings. Welcome to the Guild Hall. Here we conduct all manner of procedures pertaining to vocations. If there is aught I may assist you with, simply say the word. Forgive me, but I'm afraid we are not accepting registration for warriors or sorcerers at this time. You see, as we currently have no archer staves or great swords on hand, we are unable to outfit new members. And we cannot simply purchase more, as the delivery of arms intended for the local armory and other guilds in this domain was plundered by goblins. So regrettably, I cannot assist you. Unless you were to procure a weapon yourself, that is. Let me see. 
What else can I tell you of our guild? Have you found any of the items we discussed, perchance? Certain vocations are unavailable at present. Save- Let me see. What else can I tell you of our guild? Methinks Roderick will be able to tell you aught of the stolen shipment. He runs the local armory, and we purchase almost all of our stock from him. May fortune smile upon you, sir. Where ought we to begin our search? There's a ladder here. We ought to put it to good use. Well met, sir. Forgive my presumption, but were you the one who gave my granddaughter that medicine in Melv? I thought so! <laughs> She's not stopped talking of her adventure since she arrived home. You have my sincerest thanks for aiding her. That girl's always running off on some fool's errand or other. For all my chiding. Once she gets an idea under her bonnet, there's simply no talking her out of it. Now listen. Tisn't much, but I'd fain offer you a discount on my wares. Pray, make good use of it, won't you? I brought you something. I'd heard tell of a beggar doing well for him. So where does he get his coin then? This really is a fine craftsmanship. Hmm. Oi, friend. Klaus sent word that you've agreed to rescue some of my pilfered equipment. Fair warning. Goblins are behind these ox cart raids, I've since learned. No doubt they're hoarding the stolen arms in their den. From the tell of it, their lair lies somewhere along the western road. Pray do be careful. If all were to go awry, it would weigh heavily on my heart. Losing my wares for good would make me sore. But no sack of gold could compare to a fellow life, eh? Really now? You mustn't shirk your duty. One day, I'm going to have proper raiment. Lots to do. Well, How might I be of service? 
Gather round, gather round. Treat your ears to a tale by a master storyteller. And should my story entertain you? Nay, even if it shouldn't, I would greatly appreciate a coin or two to soothe my throat with a mug of ale. Now, listen close, as today I shall tell of a serpent with powers most fell. Our hero ventured into a shore. Enclosed, whereupon he found serpent and soldiers in battle opposed. Though to the soldiers' aid he would fain have leapt, unease overtook him, so behind a pillar. And not a moment too soon, for there came a flash of light, ere the room filled with screams, soldiers wailing at their plight. Then the shrine grew deathly still and our hero was all alone. For every last soldier had been transformed into stone. Wary of his foe and with presence of mind, the man crept up to the pillar upon which it was entwined. Seeing his moment, he unsheathed his blade and brought the pillar low in a thundering cascade. The gloating serpent was caught by surprise, and with a pitiful hiss, neath the pillar it writhed. Till really mustering swiftly the last of its might, to the depths of the shrine did the monster take flight. Thus, with a wit as sharp as his sword was honed, did our hero put an end to the threat imposed. And who was our hero? Why, needless to say, it was the father of House Berkeley, which lives on to this day. Gather round, gather round, treat your ears to a tale by a master storyteller. And should my story entertain you? Nay, even if it shouldn't, I would greatly appreciate a coin or two to soothe my throat with a mug of ale. Now, listen close, as today I shall tell of a serpent with powers most fell. Our hero ventured into a shrine long in close. Whereupon... Though to the soldier's aid he would fain have leapt, and... This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. After you were risen. And not a moment too soon. The other day, I chanced to see a most resplendent ox cart on the high road. Now, that's not so strange, but guess who I saw riding in it? Poor little Daphne. I doubt with my eyes I did, and rightly so, as it turned out to be a young boy. The resemblance was so uncanny I mistook him for her. Gave me a right shock, let me tell you. Odd to think a young noble should so closely mirror a girl of the slums. Their faces may match, but the lives they lead are as different as night and day. Aye, it is a cruel world we inhabit. Mayhap we ought to pay a visit to Trevo Mine and search for the armourer's wares. I can guide you there if you wish. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. Well, 
That wasn't a homecoming I envisioned. I knew the village would be in a bad way. This is generally used as a material. What to make of this? Freshly rested as we are, this battle ought to be in our favor. We must not let down the road. That was impeccably timed, Arisen. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. Early Griffin gets the word. That's very Let's my magic's grant you an elemental boost. Now, what might that be? We ought to take a closer look. <sighs> there are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? Just as weary as me. You must make the most of this opportunity. The 
moment of victory is at hand. Let us finish this. Confidence and cooperation gave us an edge against our foe. Fortune favors us, it would seem. I shall do as you say. Wolves drawn in! This boat will recoil from the black! Let my magic do your weapon in the fury of the elements. <laughs> Common reward, frustratingly so. We cannot expect gleaming treasures round every corner. Ox Carter sailed. It is in a dreadful state. The work of goblins may have. Caution would be wise, but we ought not let it halt us in our course. 
Some masters rearrange their party at the One such arisen dismissed me after only half a day of service. Fascinating. Allow me to open your chest. The imprison has been trenched. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. No harm in picking a few. You are most gracious. Tis but a trifle, but I pray you will accept it. Oh, 
have a different path in mind now, given our current location. Follow me, won't you? What's most We've found a hidden path. This sort of discovery really lifts the spirits. Do you mean to proceed? My, you're a bold one. Excellent work. I dare say we could sell this for a fair amount of gold. Whether or not we make the sale is for the Arisen to decide. Ah, now here's a surprise. A splendid discovery. Ha! Ah, I'll have to remember to tell my own master about this. There, master! Sorry! Forgive me, Arisen. I shall see to it this does not happen again. The sky is radiant this night. I feel at peace to gaze upon it. I suppose tis so? Come to think of it, was there not another task we were to see to somewhere nearby? When the mind is split, the heart must lead. Oh, so I've learned. 
is rather high. It might be beyond our reach. Mayhap we ought to pay a visit to Trevo Mine and search for the armorer's wares. Very well. I'll guide you there directly. We're in your hands, sir. Much obliged. I'll collect that. You needn't trouble yourself. Our adventure continues. Come, we've much to be getting on with. A new day, a new perspective. Take care. This world is rife with danger. I require some assistance. Perhaps you would oblige. I shall have to find another way, then. Cave. Shall we proceed into the depths? Tread carefully. One never can be too close. <laughs> That's the place before the toilet. You are in need of healing. Allow me. Wait a moment. I did my best to match your skill, Master. Water is nigh invisible in this gloom. Look easy! 
No few times. Goblins master! reach our destination if you continue in that direction, Master. But I suppose I can guide us there later. Tis not for us to gain Savior Risen's judgment. We must go where we are going. If you fit to fight, give us a hand. Right, send us your aid. We're in your debt. Scatter the goblin! Our task is complete. You've a strong arm. The goblins are well routed. You have my thanks. It was a simple patrol mission, till we walked into their ambush. Those cursed things caught us entirely unawares. I don't know where we'd be if you hadn't come along. I pray you'll let me repay the favour, if ever there's a chance. It's about time we pressed on, wouldn't you say, Master? You're like to grow overburdened if you keep picking up every little trinket you find.
flicker of a shadow, the gleam of an eye, the echo of a footfall. If we hone our senses, no foe shall escape us. We should be able to move this boulder with our combined might. Shall we set it rolling? Tis a glad thing we rested when we did. Try not to get hit, lest all that will go to waste. Down the flame, the is too late. My curative magics are at your disposal. Wait a moment. Let my magics grant you an elemental room. Useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? This is my first time clapping eyes on such an item. I expect my own masters yet to even discover it. I grant you fire's blaze. Use it well.
We ought to keep watch, lest we be set upon from behind. Naught can threaten us if we watch each other's backs. Word. Never did I dream we would come upon such a rarity. How exciting! My heart is fit to burst. Be on your guard. There are innumerable corners where an enemy might conceal themselves here. Keep your eyes peeled. I espy a treasure chest, but the path to it is unclear at present. Is there no way to reach it? Out of the cave at last. Such dark depths take their toll on the spirit. It's no great shock to me. I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. In battle, I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. It was a fine journey we shared. Wherever your travels take you, I pray you go in health. If ever you've need of an ear to listen, you have but to ask. Now seems a fine time to sort through your belongings, Master. Let's see. What can we do without? You've a strong arm. The goblins are well routed. It was a simple patrol mission. To I don't know where we'd be if you hadn't come along.
suppose we'll be wanting to report back now. We found an Archistaff and great sword both. What say we bring them to Sir Klaus? Follow me, Master, a few words. I'll bring you to the one you seek. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. Master, I'm coming to assist. One can scarcely walk in a place so cramped. I pray we do not encounter any foes. Let us proceed with caution. Eyes peeled, ears pricked. Is this place bereft of big beasts and brigands both? We've made it then. What's our first order of business arisen? So, we finally arrived. I thought we'd never make it. Good tidings, sir. How fares your retrieval of those plundered weapons? Will that be all, then? Let me see. What else can I tell you of our guild? Always a pleasure.
Good tidings, sir. How fares your retrieval of those plundered weapons? Oh-ho! You have procured an archer staff, I see. Most excellent. You may now change your vocation to sorcerer, if it pleases you, sir. However, if you wish to register as a warrior instead, you will need to acquire a great sword. Well, man. Good tidings, sir. How fares your retrieval of those plundered weapons? Will that be all, then? Let me see. What else can I tell Always a pleasure. There's a ladder here. Perhaps new discoveries await us above. Good tidings, sir. How fares your retrieval of those plundered weapons? Marvelous! You have acquired both an archer staff and a great sword. You may now change your vocation as desired, sir. What's more, I bear glad tidings. T'would seem our arms shortage is at an end. I dare say the armory will be resupplied anon. I've heard some interesting tidings about town. Regarding the Vermundian military, yes? Twould seem the Queen Regent has made significant alterations to the chain of command. Greetings, Your Majesty. Have you a moment to speak? There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen Your Majesty's claim as a true arisen. While examining the palace ledger for evidence of the Queen Regent's misdeeds, I made a curious discovery. For some time now, it seems, she has been diverting a veritable mountain of gold to the daily purchase of sweet crown flour. What's more, this inexpedient spending habit is recorded to have begun the very day on which Arthur, the would-be arisen, appeared on the scene. This cannot be mere happenstance. I can only conclude that these sums are passing into the hands of Arthur himself. Yet, tis strange, for sweet crown flowers only grow on the eastern edge of Romond. I dare say, t'was not an item chosen idly. Mayhap this knowledge will guide us in our pursuit of the false sovereign. Tis a frail hope to be certain. Yet all the same, I would ask that your majesty venture to Vermont's eastern edge and probe into this young man's origins. I am glad to hear it, for I cannot shake the feeling that uncovering the identity of the false sovereign is the key to unraveling Deez's scheme and securing your enthronement. Here, if you please. This isn't much to go I'll do as I please. Let them try. Do try to keep me in your sights, Master. I shan't lead you astray.
Oh, Got any arms for a man down on his luck? Oh, How might I be of service? Need anything? Well met, sir. Look as long as you please. Well met. You are come to sh- You will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to the foremost hospital. Vitality in all You shan't hear me complain about an early repose. A good sleep does wonders. <laughs> 